We're at the Pepper Mill Lounge. This place is right across the street from Resorts World. They have great food inside, a cool fireside lounge. We've been here before, but we've never done a review. So we're excited to take you inside. Let's go. waiting for a table or you just want to actually come in here and get drinks, you can come to the Fireside Lounge. You see sort of this like reflecting water and it's hot back here. It's kind of nice on a cold night, but even if it's not, it's just kind of a cool ambiance. And then they have little booths around that you can just sit at. It's just a really nice atmosphere. I love coming into this lounge. All right, we sat down and we're looking at the menu and it's really big. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day long. And you're sort of looking at like breakfast items or anywhere from like the 20 to $25 range. You wanna get a burger, they're about $22. And your lunch and dinner entrees will go anywhere from about 30 up into the $40 range. So not the cheapest food, but you're paying for the ambiance and the quality of the food here. So the dinner entrees here come with your choice of soup or salad. So we got a nice little Caesar salad. It looks pretty typical for a Caesar salad. Let me take a little bite. A little heavy on the dressing, but it's good dressing. A lot of cheese on there. It's good. The dinner entrees also come with bread. And wow, this is like cheesy. You can just smell the garlic coming off of this too. So. I really want to try this. Mm. The Parmesan just stands out when you taste that garlic. Uh, this piece could be a little toasted more, but there's some more toasted pieces on this side. So let me see. Mm hmm But in addition to that, we ordered a drink and it just came. So this is Kiss Me Cucumber, and it has Hendrix gin, has some melon liquor, cucumber, lime, mint, and soda. I haven't taken a sip yet, just got here. Ooh. It's kind of this combination of sort of sweet, sour, but that fresh cucumber flavor. Ooh. Good. Worth a try. All right, so we cut a couple dishes here. Uh, we're just gonna start with this hamburger and fries. So it's a little on the plain side, I guess. So this is just a regular old hamburger. This is $20. Um, you can add cheese or other things and it costs about $3 for that. Um, there are also a lot of different burger options on there that go for about $22. So I'm gonna try this out. I got this with no onions. The meat's are very well seasoned and flavorful. You kind of have that grilled flavor that comes out in it. Um, there's really nothing on here, so I need to ask for some mustard and maybe a little mayo. There was ketchup at the table though, so I have ketchup for the fries. Try these out. All right, fries are decent. Nothing to write home about, but they're good. Um, Crispy, I love crispy fries, a little soft in the middle. Um, but you know, nothing that really stands out about the fries. Burger's very good though. All right, so the other dish that we got is this monster. So we saw the barbecue pork ribs on the menu and it was $41 and we're like, oh, that's a lot of money for, you know, kind of a cafe restaurant. But we're like, we'll try it out. We just wanted to have some ribs. But, oh my God, it's like this full rack of ribs. So, you know, we cut some apart and I was just gonna grab one, but it's literally fall off the bone meat. So I'm just gonna use a fork and grab some of this pork. Very tender. I like the barbecue sauce. Mm. I'm really picky with my meat when it comes to like pork ribs. 
and I love that it's so tender. It's actually really good. Also, you can get your choice of size. So we got a baked potato. And it's a good baked potato. Nice and soft, how I would expect it. Well, I guess for $41, you could probably split this whole meal. And coming with the salad and the um, bread that it came with, it's a lot of food, so good stuff. So this place has been open since 1972, and you can sort of tell why it's been around for so long. Really cool ambiance, good service, and the food is just excellent. Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you so much. Um, the service is excellent, and I mean, as you can see, they're coming to check it up on us all the time. But um, one of the things that I think is uh, is cool here, the food is excellent. We've been here for breakfast before a couple of times, and this is our first time actually coming for lunch or dinner. And I did end up adding some mustard and mayo. I asked for some, and um, the cool thing is too, you get to order your burgers and to order, so I didn't have to get you know a well done burger because it didn't have quality meat. So I got a nice medium well burger so it has a little pink in it and that's kind of the way I like my burgers with steaks like medium but medium well hamburger is perfect so very good food um, definitely a place to come in Vegas just got the bill and so this came out to 8205 total before tip so burger was 19.95 the ribs were $41 the cucumber drink was $16 so sort of what to be expected with this much food. And I say this much food because it was so incredibly much. I couldn't even finish my burger and fries and there's still so much bread left over and oh my God, the ribs. It was just massive, too much food. So we decided that we were gonna take some of this to go. Got our little box here. And yeah, I would recommend that if you don't have a really, really big appetite, you could easily share one of these meals with somebody. Save a little money, don't waste food. Unless you want your doggy bag to go, that's okay too. Well, this has been a lot of fun. We enjoy coming to Pepper Mill. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us. If you like this video, be sure to check out the Wicked Spoon video that we have. We did a buffet review. And if you're interested in everything Las Vegas, check out this whole Vegas playlist. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.